the idea of axial elongation or spinal elongation to enhance and optimize our posture. The first thing I'll ask of you is to actually slump to allow your pelvis to roll under, your tail to tuck between the legs, and for you just to really hang and let gravity hit your spine. And now feel your feet on the ground, begin to roll the pelvis back up to the point where you're sitting on your seat bones, those bony landmarks pretty much at the bottom of your pelvis, and then allow the spine to lengthen from that point. With the image of little tires or little balloons as the discs in between the bony segments of your spine. And imagine me blowing up or inflating those discs. The idea of kind of a sense of floating, elongating upwards without feeling rigid in your spine. I'm gonna show this from the side vantage point as well. So again, we first allowed ourselves to give in to gravity. We slumped, we rolled our kind of, our body weight behind the seat bones, our tail drew under, and our spine began to round. So now feel your feet on the ground and begin to roll back up to sit on the bones of your pelvis. Imagine the tires or the balloons in between the bony landmarks of your spine getting pumped, pumped, pumped up with air. Check in, make sure that there's no tension between the ear and the jaw and that we're not holding ourselves in a rigid position as far as there's not a lot of tone or tension behind the ribs or the lumbar area. So the idea of elongating the spine. So to add one more piece to that postural or that principle, something that you can practice in a standing position at the wall is setting up the blocks of your trunk. So the pelvis, the ribs, the head being on kind of one long line, we're setting up our blocks, those blocks of our body in an efficient and optimal posture. We can take it to the wall and place the back of our pelvis up against the wall. Walk your feet out about your foot's distance from the wall. Note that your knees do not have to be stick straight, but we want to feel that our pelvis as much of our thorax or the rib cage can rest up against the wall and then the head. Try not to force or to push, try not, so avoid, for instance, to get the ribs to the wall, try to avoid tucking the tail. So let that pelvis, again, rest and settle back against the wall. And there you have the blocks stacked and you can even have the contact of the wall to think of sliding upwards through the crown of the head. Thank you.